Hello everyone, welcome to make 2 explore channel. First of all, thank you to all our subscribers, viewers, and supporters. In this session, we are going to see how to install MediaPipe on Raspberry Pi 4. We know that MediaPipe is very popular machine learning framework by Google. Used for various solutions like face detection, human pose detection, hand pose detection, holistic tracking, hair segmentation, face mesh, object tracking, object detection, and 3D Objectron, etc. MediaPipe can be used and installed on different platforms like Android, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and Docker, etc. But in this video, we will see how to install MediaPipe on Raspberry Pi 4 board which will be running Raspbian operating system. But before that, let's see brief introduction about what is MediaPipe. MediaPipe is a cross-platform framework for building multimodal applied machine learning pipelines. MediaPipe offers open source, cross-platform, customizable machine learning solutions for live and streaming media. Let's visit the website of MediaPipe where they have given more information about this amazing framework. Okay, here is the website of MediaPipe. Here you can see, as we have mentioned earlier, MediaPipe is live ML anywhere. MediaPipe offers open source, cross-platform, customizable ML solutions for live and streaming media. Here by word cross-platform means, MediaPipe offers solutions on different platforms, like Android, Python, iOS, JavaScript, C++, and Coral. Here on GitHub source page of MediaPipe, you can see source code of MediaPipe and its different solutions. Here they have given features of MediaPipe. As it supports end-to-end -end acceleration, means built-in fast ML inference and processing, accelerated even on common hardware. Then next feature is, build once, deploy anywhere, means, one unified solution works across Android, iOS, desktop or cloud, web and IoT, means cross-platform. Then next, ready-to-use solutions, means the cutting-edge ML solutions demonstrating full power of the framework. And most important feature. MediaPipe is free and open source. Under Apache 2.0 license fully extensible and customizable. Here they have given documentation of different ML solutions in MediaPipe, like face detection, face mesh, iris detection, hands and pose estimation, holistic tracking, hair segmentation, object detection, box tracking, instant motion tracking, Objectron, and NIFT. You can go further into these individual documentations of each solution and will get more information and ways to implement them using Python or C++. We will try to implement some of these solutions on our hardware, like Raspberry Pi and Jetson Nano with Python and OpenCV. Here you can see these MediaPipe solutions are given for different platforms like Android, iOS, C++, JavaScript, etc. In demo session, we will see some of these examples on Raspberry Pi hardware, like face detection, face mesh, hand pose estimation, etc. So, let's move forward and see how to install MediaPipe Python package on Raspberry Pi. MediaPipe Python package which we are going to install is built on Raspberry Pi legacy desktop OS, which is Debian 10, Buster. So, we need to download that OS and flash on Raspberry Pi. You can download it from website of Raspberry Pi. On the page of operating system images, you will find different releases. 32-bit, 64-bit models. Here is the latest one, Debian 11 Bullseye. Released in January 2022. Going down here you will get this option. Raspberry Pi OS Legacy. Buster version which is compatible with all Raspberry Pi models. Download this desktop version by clicking on this download button. Once downloaded, flash it on SD card and boot the Raspberry Pi. 
Ok. Head over to Raspberry Pi Desktop. First. You should tune up your Pi for computer vision projects. We have separate video tutorial for that. There we have explained how to increase swap and GPU memory, which will help in improvement of our Pi performance. Check out this video. Link is given in description, as well as, in above, I button. Ok. Once you completed this step. Then, here in our Pi desktop, open terminal. Let's list what Python modules and packages are pre-installed on the system. Let's do pip3 list. So here, you can see. We have most of the packages. But, we need to upgrade NumPy, which is most important for proper installation of MediaPipe. As we have checked. NumPy is pre-installed. So let's upgrade NumPy first. Just make sure to use flag dash dash upgrade. NumPy installation may take some time. We will fast forward the video. Here, keep note that, even if NumPy is already installed, try to upgrade it, if any version update available. Ok, the prerequisite steps are completed. Now, let's install MediaPipe package. MediaPipe Python package for Raspberry Pi hardware is available on the website of pipi.org. Let's open this website side by side in Chrome browser. Here you can see, all the description about this project is given. We will share all the links in description of this video, as well as on, GitHub. They have given all the installation steps on this web page with all commands. You can install it on Raspberry Pi 3 also. Instructions for Raspberry Pi 3 are also given here. Ok, now let's install it in our system. Here is the step 1. Here we have to install FFMPG codec and OpenCV. You can install it using following command, or from official repository, or from the sources using the guide given on this link. We will use this command to install it. Just copy this command and paste in terminal. And then execute. This will install FFMPG, Python 3 OpenCV package and pip package manager. This installation will take some time. We will fast forward the video till the completion. Ok, now, step 1 is completed. Let's go to step 2. In this step, we have to install different prerequisite dependency packages, like, given in this command. Copy this command, and, paste in terminal, and then run it. This installation will take some time. We will fast forward the video till the completion. After that, they have given different commands in step 3. As per model of your Raspberry Pi. Like, Pi 3 or, Pi 4. So we have Raspberry Pi 4, Model B. Copy this command, and, paste in terminal, and then run it. This installation will take some time. We will fast forward the video till the completion. Ok, finally, you will get successfully completed message for different packages. Like this. Now, let's verify the installation of MediaPipe in Python. Open Python 3 in terminal window. And then, try to import MediaPipe framework module. And you can see, it got successfully imported with no errors. If you face any errors here, then probably MediaPipe or supporting packages may have not got successfully installed on your system. Or some packages may still missing. To find out the culprit, you may need to check your installation log carefully. This MediaPipe package for Raspberry Pi is not officially supported. So, there may be some issues with latest Raspberry Pi OS versions. Try to install it on stable release. We tried to use this on current latest Raspi OS release. Which is Debian 11, Bullseye. It comes with Python 3.9 pre-installed. 
But, this MediaPipe Python package for Raspberry Pi is built with Python 3.7 version. Hence, it may give errors about framework bindings whenever you try to import MediaPipe in Python program. So it is recommended to use Debian 10 Buster. Or, if anyone want to use it on Raspbian Bullseye. Then you can build your own version of this MediaPipe package from its source. Instructions for this are given on GitHub repo. We will share its link in description box. So, in this way, we have completed this tutorial. In next videos, we will see some solutions and applications of MediaPipe framework. Such as hand tracking, human pose detection and tracking, holy stick tracking object detection, face mesh, etc. On Raspberry Pi hardware. Stay tuned for more updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating this DIY tutorial, feel free to ping us on Telegram or you can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.